Okay, so I think this info is actually pretty much detrimental to a lot of your guys' accounts. So we're going to talk more in depth about what you should be doing with your polls now with more updated information on what exactly half anniversary will be bringing. And there's something that I just remembered that I think changes pretty much everything. Um, if I'm being honest, I, I mean, okay, let's talk about it. So first, we're going to break down the events. So for half anniversary, all these events will be coming. All of these things are guaranteed. Okay, I will tell you this. Nothing is changing. So I, I basically wrote it here. Um, they only deleted the tweet because it was posted too early. The info is not wrong. Okay, now one big thing to know is that I think some people thought that, oh, this half anniversary bingo event is counted within those 100 pulls and that we're actually only going to get 80 pulls from the half anniversary, which, you know, to me, I don't like false marketing and I would consider that false marketing because the half anniversary starts in 12 days. Okay. But no, the half anniversary bingo event is not counted in the 100 pulls from the half anniversary. Okay. So that is number one then everything else is also pretty much guaranteed and that's going to be another pretty big thing now let's set the scene and this is where it gets very very important so in season seven in literally three days we are going to be getting the plate kidna um raid event which is going to be giving us a skill page dupe that is dupe number one from what we're talking about in this video. Now, something that I just remembered, which I think is extremely important, is that in the last main event, the last main event, okay, we got a um, SSR Universal skill page. So, because this is half anniversary and because this is a new main event with the exact same logo, okay, I'm not sure, like they have this little logo type of thing for this event. So yes, there is a 90% chance we will be getting a universal skill page dupe from this event, dupe number two. Now, what we have to realize is that they are starting to be more lenient on how much raids there has been, okay? We got raid and we got both raids in season seven, so we should expect both raids in season eight, which means we should be getting three total universal skill page dupes. Now, why is this important? Why is this so big in my opinion? Three universal skill page dupes is so important because of this guy, you know, right here. We're going to go a bit more in depth into the polls, but you know, is a pretty, sorry, very high investment unit. And that is going to be rough. Okay. Let me also pull up Noel because I think Noel is a pretty important part for this. A lot of people do want to summon for Noel. So we're going to make sure to have her kit opened. Um, you know, is very high investment. You want to max dupe him because it's going to be giving him instead okay it's gonna give him invulnerability whenever he uses his ultimate and then it's gonna be giving him an extra 10 percent damage per turn which is gonna be 20 percent max damage per turn which is gonna be 100 percent damage increase after five turns now it's not just that why you want to max dupe him you want to max dupe him because it puts him at 109 speed makes him on par with the other quick dps's and makes him very quick and makes it where you kind of need to max dupe him or else he won't be quick enough and he probably will die in some instances or just won't be able to be ran as much okay so max duping him does become way more important okay so max dupe all right we explained the mage max dupes for his actual passives now for his skill page you want to max dupe it because at max dupe he gets three sp every time he attacks with spirit dive so after his first turn every time he attacks he gets three sp Technically, every time Spirit Dive's up, because Spirit Dive is gotten through his ultimate for two turns, and then once he attacks the two turns after, he gets 3 SP every time at max dupe. So, when you consider that you want to max dupe the skill page, and the fact that we're going to get three skill page dupes in the next month around, maybe less than a month we'll get these three dupes, you do want to use them on Yuno. The, especially because you only get the plus three SP at max dupe. It goes from one SP the whole time to three. Like it adds two SP on that last dupe. So you are going to want to max dupe it. And if you're able to get him, if you're able to get the skill page four out of six in the next month, then without, without like getting lucky, right? Just considering you pull one skill page, then if you have, if you don't have any other universal skill pages and you only have three, then you're still going to be able to max them out over time guaranteed okay guaranteed and if you get even a bit lucky you get two skill pages three skill pages out of six you could literally max dupe it easily which is why i think now almost everyone be i genuinely forgot that this was a thing right i forgot so 
I th hi Derpy. I think it becomes way better for people to actually summon on Yuno now because of the fact that Max duping it is not looking as grim because we're going to be getting three universal skill pages or should, should very soon. Okay. So that's that for Yuno. Now, how does this impact Noel? Because a lot of you guys are going to be like, hold on. I still won't be able to fucking max Noel. But the thing is, what people need to know is that her skill page does not really need to be duped out. Okay, if we check the skill page, where is it? Um, over here. Okay, the passive is that at zero dupe, sorry, yes, at, if just one copy, it's a 50% chance to taunt two enemies for one turn. So every time it's Noel's turn, from what it seems, you're gonna, the wording is very weird. It's either worded two ways. I'm gonna talk about the first way. So either you're gonna have zero dupes, a 50% chance to taunt two enemies, or you're gonna have a 50% chance to taunt an enemy twice, so only max two taunts. We'll see how it is. But either or, taunting for sure will be valuable, but it won't be a necessity in my opinion at this point in time. So you could actually just get one dupe and you don't need to use your universal dupes for this Noel which in my opinion means you could put everything into Spirit Dive, you know. And the good thing about Spirit Dive is now he seems to have long-term value because of Noel. okay? He will be the only DPS that works with Noel in the meta, which will mean he will have value on Global for Season 8, Season 9, Season 10, and Season 11 minimum, okay? So if you plan to invest into you know, if you like you know, and you like his gameplay, and you want to build Noel because the only DPS that's going to work with Noel at this point is you know, you're going to want to max dupe Yuno's skill page with all the universal dupes you're going to be getting, okay? And I think this is very important. Noel does need to be max duped though, okay? But she's coming out in two months. She's going to be in season 10. A season lasts about a month, okay? So she will be out end of July, about, roughly. Because her max dupe is going to make her the quickest unit in the game turn one. And also, I forgot the other passive. Uh, the other passive is going to be giving her taunt removal. So she cannot be taunted at all, basically. So, yes, you want to max dupe Noel, but you don't need to max dupe her skill page, which gives you the leeway to go and max dupe Spirit Dive, you know, skill page. So I hope this was uh, informative. Now, I do want to touch more on the 100 free Derpy again. Um, the 100 free summon tickets. We will probably get them from Royal Knights. We'll get them from a login because, I mean, JP has 20 pulls from their login. So maybe Global is going to give the same thing. Um, and besides that, we'll have to see what other events. But just those two things will probably give a lot of pulls. Um, in this event, they gave less pulls, but they gave a lot of other resources. Maybe in this, uh, the Royal Knights event, they're going to give more pulls, less of other resources, which I think is going to work out fine. Okay, so we're going to have to see, but they've been doing very good in terms of having a lot of limited time modes come out at once. And I could see the exact same thing happening for um, season eight being half anniversary. So yeah, um, you know, just a disclaimer, you know, should be coming out May 30th. All right. Uh, why is it? Hello? Why was it on that? Anyway, you know, should be um, uh, unfortunate. Um, you know, should be coming out. Uh, May 30th alongside season 8 because they already teased them even if they deleted the post because it was too early it was still a post about you know and I don't feel they would never tease a unit two weeks early so he's gonna be the half anti unit we're gonna be getting a 999 reroll summon with pickups in them so you might be able to get Fauna Witch Queen you know um, Red you know um, Raya right and then the hot time event for boost. It's it's looking good. Okay, it's looking good. I think this actually makes it so you know is much more worthy of being summoned. And you also gotta consider that's hundred pulls from half Annie. And half Annie is gonna last about two weeks. So hundred pulls in two weeks. But then the bingo already giving us 18. There's gonna be a bingo next season. And then we have the dice, which I've seen people get literally like 30 pulls from. People in my comments of the last video were saying, Yeah, I got 30 pulls. Like, what? So yeah. I just wanted to update you guys on that. I think that uh, now, you know, is definitely worth summoning for because you will have a pretty nice shot of actually getting his skill page maxed. So I just thought I'd let you know. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace.